Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on Gauss-Jordan elimination. Gauss-Jordan elimination is solving a system of equations by turning it into a matrix and then taking the numbers on the left side of the augmented matrix and getting it to an identity matrix. Okay, so let's start with turning a system of equations into an augmented matrix. A matrix means a collection of numbers. So we're going to take the coefficients. We're going to take that 4, that negative 3, and that 12. We're going to take that 4, that positive 3, and that 24. To make it a matrix, we put it in brackets. And now we have a matrix. The thing is, an, we want an augmented matrix. And what we're going to do is we're going to represent the equal signs with a line so that we can think of this as an equation. An augmented uh, matrix um, means that there's two things going on at once. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to think about uh, having a pivot point. So my pivot point I'm going to use is this 4. And what I'm going to do with that pivot point is I'm going to zero everything out. Now I could use the 3 down here and start with zeroing up. That might be simpler. Um, with a 2 by 2 it really doesn't matter. It's going to be a really fast process no matter how you do it. So if I do this and I say row 1 minus row 2. I often pull things out, but row 1 and row 2 are already written so nicely. 4 minus 4 is 0. Negative 3 minus 3 is a negative 6. 12 minus 24 is a negative 12. And then this second row, I uh, should probably put that down there. So, sorry, the first row should not change. 4, negative 3, 12. That becomes the second row, 0, but I'm going to divide by negative 6, 0, 1, 2. And now we know what our y variable equals. To clear out, now we're going to pivot on this point. I know some people divide, so it's 1, negative 3 fourths, and 3. I don't think we need the extra stress of working with fractions, so any division I will do will be in the last step. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pivot on this 1. I'm going to say this time I do want to replace the top row. I'm going to say row 1. I need this 1 to clear the negative 3, so negative 3 plus 3, so plus 3 row 2 should add it up. I'm going to pull it out this time. I didn't up here. That's probably what got me in trouble. Row 1 is 4, negative 3, 12. 3 times row 2 is 0, 3, 6. When I add down, I get 4, 0, 18 and then I'm going to divide by 4 because I'm at that point where I need to make sure that my leading number, my uh, the matrix on the left is an identity matrix. So when I divide by 4, this is going to become a 1, this is going to become a 0, this is going to become an 18 over 4, uh, which reduces down to 9 halves. And I'm going to leave it as 9 halves. It's a perfectly acceptable number. Um, so I have 1, 0, 9 halves, 0, 1, 2. I want to check. I could have done something wrong with all those numbers. So I'm going to check. Is 4, because this translates to x equaling 9 halves and y equaling 2. So is 4 times 9 halves minus 3 times 2 really equal to 12? Let's see. 18 minus 6, that works. Then I'm going to check is 4 times 9 halves plus 3 times 2 really equal to 24. This is still 18, this is still 6, and this still works. So my answer becomes an ordered pair, 9 halves comma 2. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!